<laughs> so now I'm at the Rebel Point booth with Leander. So would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hi, I'm Leander. I'm a social media manager in Rebel Point. And Rebel Point is a company that focuses on high precision 3D vision technology innovation company. So, you, so you guys do 3D scanners, right? Yes. And you haven't just made one 3D scanner, you've made multiple 3D scanners. Yes, you've made did. the range. Mini and Bob 2. Yeah, and the range is the newest. Yes, newest one. And with the range, you guys actually came out with your newest Revo Scan 5, 5 software, right? Yes. So how did that come to be? Because yeah. this is like really impressive as a company. As we update a YouTube video, we say uh, it's a, it is not a update, it's remake. It's brand yeah. new. It's brand new. It's brand, brand new, new software. software. Just try it. Yeah, and but the, the way that the software actually came to be was because RevoPoint actually listens to its users. Yeah, true. true and true, true. if you know, if you're a user of the if, of RevoPoint scanners, where can you go and comment and kind of get your input and your feedback put in? Yes, yeah, please join our Facebook group and go to our form. Leave your suggestion and comment there, and we will read. Um, all, all of these suggestions. That's, and yeah, I mean, that's that's actually really impressive because a whole bunch of companies will actually, uh, they'll develop software or they'll develop hardware, but then they won't listen to their users' feedback. And they'll take the software and the hardware in their own vision, but that's not the vision of what their users want. And that's different from what you guys yes. do. Thank you. Yeah, yes. so that's, that's, that's definitely commendable. And, and from a user myself, I have, a pop two, pop a mini, two, and a range. range. It's fantastic to see that the software is developing. Yes, thank you. So I'm here with Kyle, a RevoPoint power user, if you will. You've used a few different scanners from RevoPoint. Kind of walk me through your experience. So I started using their specific scanners on the pop one. I was one of the original Kickstarter backers. I think a, a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, 20. 8, 19, whatever. 20, 19, something yeah, like something around there. I forget what it was. Uh, I think I was like back or 3,000 something. Uh, I jumped on that and because at the time I actually wound up seeing a video by Teaching Tech that was showing the difference between a Kinect, the Sense 3D, and the Pop 1. And we're just showing like the difference in detail yeah. that you can get. And I was and looking at getting a uh, Kinect set up and it was just like completely was, different world. The, the Pop <laughs> 1 just blew everything right out of the water. Yeah. From, and, from something that was more expensive, which is the Sense, or yeah. something a little less, the Connect, the Pop was kind of maybe right in the middle or yeah. something. But oh no, it just blew all was, of both of them but, out but of the water. But price-wise, oh yeah. But it was significantly better in terms of detail, maybe usability, and yeah. other cases like that. And that was exactly what like Orange Lee drew me to it, and they were doing the Kickstarter, so yeah. I was judging that price payoff where I was like, you know do what? Do I try something new, yeah. which is the pop, you know, or, you know, I've never really heard of Rebel Point, yeah. or do I go with something connect that's kind of a, maybe a hacked situation? Yeah. I don't have 20 grand to just dish out for something oh. more expensive, so. A hundred percent, and it, I started with that, and I, I do, I have a small auto fabrication company, and so that's what I started using it for. I yeah. use the Pop One to scan engines, scan engine base, so that way yeah. I can go through and reverse engineer parts or create parts off of the scans, and it was like, it just felt like a cheat code from the beginning, because <laughs> the first thing yep, that I yep. scanned as a functional part, per se, was I was doing an oil drain for my personal car, and scanned the back of my engine block with the turbo and everything mounted up, and... But you were able to do that with the Pop 1. Yeah, that was even all the way back yeah, well, in the Pop 1. So so now, Rebel Points, after the Pop 1, they've come out with the Pop 2, mm. then the Mini, and now they have the Range. The Range just came out, and yep. the Range is like really designed for what your yes. you know what your intended purposes are but what's what's kind of cool about how Rebel Point has placed themselves is that they have uh, the mini which is designed for really small things maybe what, like action figure size yeah, yeah. to get like precise detail and you know, but then you have the pop 2 or maybe medium sized stuff mm -hmm. for you know they've shown examples of scanning pineapples and yeah. other like fruit sized objects but that with the range exactly is for your purpose oh yeah and that's one of the things that's great for me is like uh, I actually brought a few of my parts that I've scanned before and I've done them with the Pop 2 and I now scanning them here with the range is just easier. Oh, like, significantly it's easier. So uh, and it's just wild to me because the Pop 2, I scanned an intake manifold and it, yeah. it did it, it had great detail, but and it, it took was successful. a little bit. Yeah, and it worked great. But, but it might have taken multiple tries, but because you were kind of, it's kind of like putting a square through a circle. Is there, you're using the wrong tool for the job, but it works still, Oh yeah, it gave, which is, which is, it's just still really cool. And it gave everything that I needed out of it. But kind of again, back to like cheat code, now the range with the same exact part, I just, Hit the button once, wrap around yep. it, and within Incredible. like five minutes, I'm done with what would have taken me 20 minutes before, which 
20 minutes still isn't bad in the grand scheme of <laughs> yeah, things, but, but if I can do it in five minutes, why? why, why <laughs> if, if I have to do 10 different parts and I'm yeah. saving 15 minutes for 10 different parts, that's a it, significant time exactly. savings. Exactly. It, it just, the throughput and the workflow has just been immensely helpful for yeah. me. Well, and so as a kind of power user as you are, walk me through the stages of the software from when you first started using uh, RevaPoint to where they are today and kind of how they got there. So one of the great things that I love about RevaPoint is they listen to their users. So incredible. The some of the feedback that myself and others have given are have shown a direct result into where the software is now. Uh, one of the big complaints originally was that it had two different softwares. You had one for scanning and one for cleaning Revo everything. Scan and Revo Studio. And the amount of times that I saw reviews that were like, the scanner's great, it works wonderful, but, but the software. The software. Well, and now full different UI, everything's all in one but, specifically because of those complaints. Yeah, and so what RevaPoint did is they went all to their user base, they're like their heavy yeah. user base, the ones that actually go to the forums yeah. and actually communicate with or talk with the rest of the community. And what they've done is they've they've listened to the feedback of the users, you know, not just the people that got the scanner and scanned one object, put it yeah. in the closet and let it collect the dust, the people that are scanning regularly, maybe, yeah. maybe users like you that are kind of using it in a professional sense yeah. that you can scan a car part and then just reverse engineer it and then prints it back at your house. And that's the great thing is, and now makes it accessible to people like myself that aren't gonna buy that $20,000 scanner because it's not financially responsible. Yeah. You know, am I gonna kill a, you know, a portion of my profit for something that, yeah, it makes my life easier. $20,000, to get to the $20,000 mark is really, is really, is, is a stretch. You have yeah. to, it's gotta be your, your full-time job that yeah. you're doing regularly over and over again, making lots of profit. And on that's that. what I was gonna say, you have to still be, even if it's, is your full-time job, you gotta justify it by lots of profit. How much profit are you making? Now, it, now, now position the pop scanners in relation to uh, the Connect kind of environment versus the professional scanners in terms of price. And, that's the crazy thing to me is like, for seven hundred, eight hundred dollars, yeah, you get so between one of the three scanners, whether it's the range, the pop, or the mini, you get things that are already detail-wise fighting with things that cost five, ten grand. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're not going to get better unless it's, unless you spend, you know, many. Th you got to take out a loan in order. You got to take out a business loan yeah. to buy one of these more professional scanners. And what do you get for it? Really, kind of nothing because as you know, as you've you've spoken before you're gonna take this scan into software like Fusion yeah. 360 or some, whatever your preferred software is and then you're gonna just redesign the part from the data the scanner gave yeah. you you're not taking the scanner the scanned object and and simply printing it out and using that you, you have to do you know you have to take that data and turn it into a, a usable part which regardless of the scanner you have. and that's what I was gonna say it's one of the misnomers about 3d scanning especially now that it's becoming more consumer price minded yeah is there's a lot of people that that are like, oh, I should just be able to grab this, hit a button, and everything's magic, perfectly closed model and that I can shoot to my 3D printer. What? And you have to level set expectations. Like, yeah. that's not something $30,000 scanners do. Even, so. even, <laughs> yes, even when you get up into that price point, you're using the scanner as a tool, not as yeah. an end game. It's a tool to get you to the end game. You yeah. know, even with the more expensive scanners, as you mentioned, you're still scanning to get the data. And once yeah. you have the data, that's when you have to go and do your end of the job, which is manual recreation of the parts, 100%. make things perfect to get you know get you know single faces and stuff like that. And so, and even that's still possible. Like if you you know plan out how you're scanning everything, yeah. uh, there's a couple of parts that are over here that literally show that they've been scanned all in one piece closed up and yeah. turned around and printed those exact scan models yeah that i mean if, if i <laughs> want to print something like a pineapple for instance we've been scanning a pineapple yeah. over here if i want to scan a pineapple and print it i could just scan that and print it and it's going to look like a pineapple yeah. i'm going to know what it is but you know when you're getting into functional items that's and where that's, the difference. That, that's where it doesn't matter and for the 700 dollar price point or the you know 800 dollar price point with the with the rubber point scanners it's it's all you need. It already as it is with the detail it gets, you're it's already punching at like yeah. the significantly more expensive. And the great thing is, yeah, you're seven hundred to eight hundred dollars out the it's out the door. It's, it's going it's going yeah. far for what you need it to do. And maybe it'll take you to some you know it'll take you to a, a a level in your business where maybe at some point it could be worth it to spend more money. But but for right now, Revapoint is is their their top dog in the consumer yeah. and prosumer market. And I don't think anyone's going to touch them. And and that's one of the things that's great is between them listening to feedback and them constantly making improvements it's only going to get better from here too. yeah like that's their hardware 
the amount that you would have to spend to, for instance, match the detail of the Mini or any one of their scanners is prohibitively <laughs> it's, expensive. It's very expensive. And so if you wanted a scanner that could get the 0.05 millimeter detail, like the Pop 2 can, yep. and put, and like that's not cheap. Good luck. Yeah. You Good be, luck. And then never mind the site licenses for the software. You'd basically yeah. be buying more than one pop every year just oh. for the software side of yeah. things. And this is all in one. So it's it's kind of yeah. it's, it's kind of it's just a place you need to be if you want to get into three scanning, whether it's you know just a consumer level or yeah. prosumer level. The the Reva points kind of baseline. You know, start here, yeah. see if it's see if it's something you want to get into, and if it is, potentially in your future, uh, look into something more expensive. Yeah, and for me, I don't see a re you know they came out with the range. They're constantly making their stuff better. Yeah. I'm going to be hard pressed to ever want to spend more money <laughs> yeah. if they keep doing what they're doing. Gotcha. Well, well, thanks for talking to me. No problem, man. Yeah, thank you for all the yeah. information. So now I am with Ray, the CEO of Frozen, and we yeah. just did a full body scan of you using the RevaPoint range. Yeah, we used the RevaPoint range and printed, scan myself, and then printed with Sony Mighty AK, and I got a mini me. Yeah, so now we have a mini version of yourself. And yeah. the detail on this is incredible. The yeah. you know the range does a fantastic job with the scan, and then the Sonic Mighty AK yeah. can just bring out all those fine details. Yeah, you can see all the wrinkles and my hairs on, <laughs> on these miniatures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the shirt wrinkles, all the hairs. It's just it's incredible. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.